this video we're going to be looking at the core set, unboxing it, having a close-up look. It's going to be a long one, uh, so let's crack on. All right, here's the box. Now, as you can see, the artwork is, is pretty good. It's a lovely looking box. Let's have a good look at it. There we go. That's the front. This is a pen and paper tabletop RPG. It's old school, circa 1983. Technically, it was published in 74, but TSR was it's the back. the year before. Anyway, all you really need to play is a couple of friends who can agree to Let's look at some of the figures. It's not that easy, but hey, if you can see the hard parts out of the way. Next up, you got to decide what you want to do. The role that you play. Yeah, it's the bottom if you're interested. And the top. Okay. Now, let's get this open. Okay, let it slide in here. Let's slide across here. Probably going to be a bit tricky. Anyway. Here they come. Let's get all of this sorted out and we'll look at all in close up detail. Let's get rid of them. Let's start with the first piece. Right. Okay, as far as possible, I'm going to try and stick to the Reaper list as they were on the Kickstarter. So, first of all, let's start with um, Gorf. So, let's get this open. Stick them together. So let's uh, let's go for a time lapse on that. Okay, there he is. Now I just temporarily stuck him together, but as you can see, it's looking good. What you can't see yet, but if I lift it up, it's got a huge set of wings on him. Look at that. Huge. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Bar his head falls off. Now, there we go. Let's see if we can have a closer look. Now, I've only temporarily glued them together. Just use a little bit of uh, a little bit of super glue. But as you can see, he's looking good. Huge set of wings on him. As you can see, if you look down at his feet here, now I don't think it's the way that I've uh, stuck him together, even though it is a bit of a temporary job because I don't want to make it too permanent. But his left foot is a bit sort of squiffy. Now I don't think it's uh, I've stuck it on wrong because it looks pretty flush, but it doesn't sit flat, which means he doesn't sit down still. It's a bit of a shame, but I'm sure it's nothing some hot water. Can't sort out. There we go. Lovely piece. Alright, let's move on. Okay, next up is the Monsters Pack. So, uh, let's get this open up. Let's see what's inside. IV. You could find me in the pursuit of treasure and XP with them to be killing the this NPCs and DD, world's best RPG. With the wood playing path, here's the Griffin. It's a little bit of assembly required, it's quite easy to do though. Before choosing a race and class, now what you can see on this Griffin here is the detail on the wings. 
they are fantastic. I think that's probably the best detail I've seen yet, ever, on a Bones figure. That is absolutely beautiful. Fantastic set of wings. Really loving that piece. Very nice. Nope. Right, next up, we've got the uh, the Wyvern. Now, what I'm noticing now straight away, which I hadn't seen on any pictures, is the base there. You can see standing on the head of a statue. That's a great little bit of the detail. You know, it's not necessary, but it adds to the piece. It's beautiful. Brilliant. Cool. Nice little Wyvern. And the last one is the Albert. A little bit small, but prefer them a bit bigger, but you know, can't complain. It's a nice little Albert. Good detail. A bit of a chip out the back there, but it's not too bad. And there's the Albert. Okay, next is the uh, the Die Beasts. So uh, let's get these opened up and have a look. Okay, the first. Uh, First one up was the crocodile. Everyone needs a crocodile, don't they? There you go, looking good. It's the first piece so far that I've not had to uh, stick together. It's a good size, as you can see. Nice. Next. We've got the uh, warthog. Again, no assembly on this one. Nice little piece. Warthog. Okay, next up we've got the crab. Now this one needs a little bit of assembly. You've got to be careful with this one because if you don't stick the claws in before putting the shell on, you can have a clawless crab. And what's the point of that? Quite like this one. There we go. Here's your crab. Okay, next uh, we've got the villagers. Now uh, let's get these open and see what we got. There's a little bit of assembly there, sort those out. Okay, pig. I think there's a cart to go with that pig somewhere, but that's going to need a bit of assembly, so we'll come back to him. Village yeah, number one. Right, good detail. Engine number two. Some sort of scrolls, scribe, some sort of town clerk. There he is. Great detail on the glasses there. Number two. Town militia or some sort of bandit. I think that worked well for the uh, Lost Mine of Fendelva Red Band. Barmaid. There she is. Again, some great detail on the food on the plate. Look at that. Fantastic. Couldn't get that in white. Bones white. Dairy made. There she is. Ah, flaming pitchfork. Brilliant. Turn her around. Sort of dancing lady. Some sort of monk. And you will up until you 
Whether we're playing Pathfinder or 5e, you can find me in the pursuit of treasure and XP. With a nifty killing building this NPC in D D. Another lady. Beggar. Spin around. Here he goes. Man with a bent sword. Let's see how easy, how easy is that to straighten out? It's mm, going back. That's going to need some hot water. Maybe some sort of half hawkish. the bits in need assembly whether we're playing pathfinder or 5e you could find me in the pursuit of treasure and xp with them to be killing villain the send pcs and dnd world's best rpg whether we're playing pathfinder or 5e you could find me in the pursuit of treasure and xp with them to be killing villain the send pcs before choosing a race and class, consider how you would want your hero to kick ass. Everything is available. You can focus on mass or be a rat spellcaster made of glass. You can be a tank with a lot of strength and health or an assassin, master of speed and stealth. Or maybe you just want to relax up in the back with a projectile weapon, long range attack. Matter of fact, maybe you want to curtail conflict. Maybe you're a rehabilitation. Okay, this is the other figure that needs a little bit of assembly. For some reason, he had to stick his leg on and attach him to a base. It's easily done. A little barman carrying a barrel. A village is always useful. Brilliant. Right, let's get these out of the way and move on. Okay, I'm going to uh, stop there for the first part. I want to try and keep the videos around sort of 15 minutes long. It's a good place to stop. I'll start with the uh, adventurers next. Uh, my favourite piece so far has to be has to be the griffin. Look at those wings. How can you not love the detail on those wings? Right, cool. Well, I'm going to put part two up hopefully tomorrow. And it could be part three, part four. So if you like it, hit like. If you want to see more, hit subscribe, hit the bell. And you'll see them all as they come. See you later.